I've been wanting to do this video forever, a comparison between the TI-92 Plus and the Voyage 200. This one came out in 1998, shortly after the TI-89. And it is uh, the successor of the original 92 that came out in 1995. And this one is the successor of this one right here. This one came out in 2002, okay? And uh, software-wise, they, uh, they are essentially identical, you know? They are pretty much identical. This one just has uh, uh, slightly more functions and uh, is also slightly faster, but that's really debatable, okay? I've used uh, both of these for a while now, and uh, well, that really wouldn't be true. I've been using these for <laughs> for not too long ago, for not too long, because I've, I've, I've recently just got these, like literally just got these, so I really don't, I haven't tested it fully. But from uh, uh, from experience, I want to tell you that uh, if you if you had a chance to pick either of this app and you are and you, and you can save a little bit of money with uh, the 92 plus i would suggest you go with the 92 plus because you're really not gonna miss the uh, features on the voyage really like i said this one can do pretty much this one is able to do like 98 percent of this all the stuff the voyage can do so yeah it's just uh it's just come down to preference and uh you know and what you use your calculator for for someone who's gonna be using it for let's say uh algebra then truth be told you can't you don't even need these two calculators and you probably won't even be able to uh, use them in uh, during tests anyways i'm a collector so i love to have have them that's it i don't have to take any more math classes i'm done with that college and all that i just like to have this stuff you know because why not you cannot you can all you can never have a uh, too many calculators i actually have a friend here in dallas i kind of want to say he must be the biggest collector in the united states because he's got he's literally got thousands of calculators you know he told me that he's got about maybe three thousand working one and 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 non-working one uh three thousand working ones and about three thousand non-working one i've been to his house <laughs> it's little he literally has got stack of calculators he's got stack of calculators in the office just uh like on a shelf on on shelves like all the way stacked up all the way to all the way to to, to uh to the ceiling it also has boxes as well boxes in the office all, all of them full of calculators it's got calculators it's got pretty much all of them literally all of them mostly hp so he loves hps in his garage in his attic the attic is literally full of calculators i've been to the attic the, uh, the attic is full of boxes and it's a big house too so anyways that's just uh, i digress a little bit that's just a rant but uh yeah so these things are essentially the same thing. The difference between the two, like I said uh, earlier, is uh, gonna be slightly uh, more functions here. Uh, so far, what I don't really use it for much stuff, calc stuff, not many physics stuff. I don't really, no, I don't, I don't do physics at all. I don't do physics at all. Just, just, just math. Okay, just math. Again, it's not my major. I'm a computer major, and uh, I don't really need math. But you know, like I said, I'm a collector. So if you collect calculators, I mean, you can. If you're not if you're not gonna use them for physics i mean you, you're gonna have to use them for something so i mostly use this for math and also programming sometimes i find it uh really convenient to write codes on these co co codes on this because even though you can write codes on the 89 89 titanium i just find it <laughs> i just find it annoying because the keys on those calculators is really uh it's it's, it's really annoying you know you can spend 20 seconds just trying to write a, a one word while with this one you can just uh type a word in in a set in, in a couple of seconds and depending on your on how you write the program the program will be able to run on the 89 the 89 titanium the 90 even the 92 okay so yeah that is that and uh another difference is going to be uh the ram and the flash memory obviously this one being newer is going to have a uh, more ram more memory and uh that's really it and the design obviously that's the elephant in the room this one is actually much bigger if i take uh, the cover off here this one does not have any cover and uh let's see so yeah so the 92 or 92 plus is considerably bigger much much bigger actually it is also much thicker as you can see it is much thicker than the voyage so the voyage is really convenient for everyday use the 92 is really uh it can be overwhelming sometimes but uh, i actually prefer the design on the 92 slightly better than the voyage but i'm i'm uh, extremely happy with both okay and also the display one might think that 
since the Voyage is uh, the successor to the 92 Plus, the display must be uh, a lot better. The truth is, the display is literally the same thing, like the same. It's just copy and paste, you know, and which is not a bad thing because the uh, the display on the 92 is extremely is extremely good. You know, all the writings are legible. You can use it in a slightly darker environment. As a matter of fact, I just have my windows open. I have all the lights off in the room, and I'm able to see both perfectly. Okay. And this one is also at the uh, hardware is also hardware revision too. I believe this the 92 plus had two different hardware revision one and two. The two just gives you a, a, the ability to have clock. As far as I know, that's the only difference between the two. But I could be wrong. And the Voyage is always going to have uh, the clock feature. And this one also, I don't know if he has multiple hardware revision. Unfortunately, there really isn't mean inform like much information about these calculators, which is kind of sad, sad, sad. But I guess it is what it is. Okay, and both of these are running the latest firmware. Uh, yeah, I just want to do a quick overview and uh, let's also go ahead and do uh, some graphing. I was doing some stuff early here. Uh, I'm just gonna F4 here, F4. And also, the key lab, uh, the keyboard layout, the key uh, beside the function keys, all the keys have the same exact layout. So, if you are coming from the 92 plus, the voyage isn't really not going to be a new territory for you. You're just gonna have to get used to this function key here and the lock key and for those who wonder what is this for this is only for ge uh, the geometry app so all these uh, these uh, calculators both the voyage and 92 even the regular 92 that came in 1995 is gonna have a geometry app that's gonna let you uh, uh, use this to drag your uh, your shape your uh, your stuff like your triangle your triangles your uh, your circles you know that's that's really that's all it really is for you cannot use it in a different uh, i mean uh, in a yeah in a different interface like in, in the home interface or in the graphing interface it doesn't work for that it only works for the geometry so i not almost i never use it okay so there is that but beside the function keys all the other keys are have the same exact spot you're gonna have your you have three uh, second keys here one over here second one over here actually that, that, that that's that's wrong i mean three inner keys okay so one here, one here, and one one over here. And on the 92, it's gonna be the same thing. Second key is two, and diamond key is only one. You have a uh, one shift key. I like to call this shift key. Okay, but uh, yeah, that's it. They have the same amount of keys, and uh, all the shortcuts are pretty much where you would find them. All the shortcuts are the same. Okay, so everything is identical as far as uh, the key layout, except for the function keys once again. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, some graphing. So I'm just gonna graph a. Uh, Second degree polynomial and uh, an absolute value. Uh, <laughs> I put a negative. Okay, yeah. I mean, it's fun. <laughs> x, x to the power three. Anyways, it is what it is. <laughs> I mean, actually, just keep in mind, calculators don't see uh, expressions the way we see it. You know, like one might think. Uh, okay, I'm gonna put this quickly. I kind of wanted to pause the video, but uh, it's easier to put operation kind of. And this is the negative sign. When I first got a. Uh, uh, a calculator, a graphing calculator. I didn't know the difference between negative and the minus sign. Anyways, I mean, I knew the difference between those two in math, but I, on the calculator, I, I was like, man, that's stupid. <laughs> but <laughs> after using them for a while, you came to understand that wh why there is that. Okay, so for the absolute value, there is not a dedicated key for that. So to how to do the absolute value, you're gonna have to go to either catalog or you can just tap it. If you were using uh, an 89 or 89 titanium, then you would have to go to catalog. That would be the fastest way to do that. But with this one, you can just uh, go to, I mean, you can just uh, tap it. So I'm gonna put negative first and then up ABS. This stands for absolute. And then you open the parentheses and put X to the power three. As you can see, it's gonna put on, on here for you. So let's go and uh, graph both of these. I'm gonna make sure this is checked. Down key, down key. Okay, one, two, three. Okay. So, as you can see, this is actually the 92 plus that came out in 1998 is actually faster, actually much faster than the Voyage. And probably the reason is the way the Voyage came uh, set up, came set, came set up, is that English? Is the way the Voyage was set up out of the box. So out of the box, the Voyage has something called a uh, discontinuity. Uh, let's see. Uh, so to access that feature, uh, we're just gonna go to the window settings. So diamond key window, and if you press F1, go to the bottom format and discontinuity detection. If you turn that off, 
and uh, let's see we turn that off and uh, go back to the graph uh, let's go ahead let's uncheck this one uncheck this one uncheck it check it check it again and if we graph him I don't have to do that here because I changed the uh, some settings so the function is gonna graph automatically diamond key and uh, as you can see so with that being off the calculator is going to be slightly faster already faster than uh, it than that uh, feature being on so we have it off but this one still managed to be faster so something else you can do is that if you go to the same setting here as you can see you don't even have the uh, function that you don't, you don't even have the ability to turn that off you see uh, this one is only stop our labels so you don't have the discontinued detection feature on here that's because it is turned off by default here and once you have that off you have access to the x resolution or x res which is two so the lower this number is the better looking your graph is going to be and the higher it is the more crooked your graph is going to look so if we go back to window settings and change this uh, x resolution to two and uh, i'm just going to put one here and then uh, erase that and then put two and try to regraph my function okay so that's not gonna work but as you can see here it is actually much faster now uh, from one to two so by default out of the box the voyage 200 and the ti 89 titanium they come by default out of the box they have that feature on they also if you turn it off the x res by default is also one so that's just to give you a better looking graph the truth is, the difference between 1 and 2 is not really uh, noticeable if you're doing these uh, simple graphs. But if you're doing a, a graph such as uh, a trig, a trig functions, if you're graphing trig functions, then the difference may be obvious. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and regraph both of these to see how fast they are. So if uh, I'm already in graphing, I just got to press F4. Okay, so as you can see, they are about the same speed now. Okay, pretty much identical. So again, I was saying, if you had the ability to pick this up for slightly less money, uh, uh, for a slightly cheaper price, then uh, you know by all means just go with this one. You're really not gonna miss the functions. This one has pretty much all the three functions. If you take in college algebra, then or even trigs, even though you're not gonna be able to use this during tests or even in the classroom, then I mean it's always hard. It's always good to have uh, these calculators to quickly check your answers. You know, instead of going online now, every, everyone has access to the internet, and sometimes those websites may not even work properly. So uh, there's that. And uh, that's all I wanted to talk about in this video. If you have any questions, just make sure you put in the comment section. And uh, with, that being, with that being said, I'm out.